Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of In Too Deep, the show where the pizza is as deep as the conversation. Today, I am so happy to be joined from the national tour of Mean Girls, Jonalyn Saxer, Megan Masako Haley, and Mariah Rose Faith, the stars of the stage and screen. Yeah. Sure. sure. <laughs> and I'm TJ Piper Star. Nothing. Welcome to the show. Are we ready to eat some pizza today? Yeah. Yes. Are ready? So let's bring in the pizza. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, wow. It's a big girl. It's a big girl. <laughs> the pizza today, as always, is brought to you by... Giordano's. <laughs> Before we dig into the pizza, um, Megan, I saw on your Instagram that you oh. are a buffet expert. And you, <laughs> really, like, you really know how to like attack a buffet. You know like when to take the break. So oh, yeah. I was wondering if you had any tips for the three of us on how to like do this mountain of a meal. I mean, I wish I had brought a hair tie because I think first things first, get your True. hair out of your face, um, unbuckle your pants now. Okay. And then just pace yourself. This is actually a brand new segment just oh. for you guys today. Actually, oh. just for Mariah. Oh um, my God. Through some copious research, oh we've no. actually found out that you have an obsession with Luigi. Oh, oh. No. <laughs> We made this brand new segment, especially oh for you. It's never been played before and it will never be played again. It's <laughs> time to play Luigi or Regini. Luigi or Regini. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, is this the best? This is it and it's me. <laughs> Ever seen so I'm gonna give you a prompt. And you have to tell me if it applies to Luigi the Mario brother yeah. or Regini the plastic. Can it okay? be both? It could be both. I think they have some mutual standpoints. It might be great. both. Great. Are you ready? I'm so. I've never been more ready for anything. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Lives in the Mushroom Kingdom with his brother Mario. Oh well, that's my boy Luigi. That's Luigi. <laughs> Hooking up he with Shane also. Omen in the North Shore Lions. Well, Russia. that's my boy Luigi. Yes. <laughs> Get it, Luigi. I'm so proud of him. Catchphrase is Oh yeah. <laughs> Both? Yes. Have you that seen That was me cut the from show? the show, but yeah. originally is a massive deal. Both! Both. Wow, 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 wow. And you won. A oh, yeah. Of 10. Thank you so much. This Congratulations. Is... You can keep can those for your dressing room. Yeah. I'm tearing up. This is so <laughs> That's good stuff. I knew you were going to pull something out when you brought up her love of buffets. I was like, her, what? Her, her, her love of buffets. Yeah. I was like, you've done research. Yeah, on. I know. Yeah. <laughs> he knows things. That's called journalism. <laughs> This is called rapid fire. I'm gonna ask you guys questions, just go down the line and just answer whatever comes out of your brain. Okay, we're gonna put two minutes on the clock for no reason. Here <sighs> we go. Who was your childhood celebrity crush? Nick Jonas. Brock from Pokemon. A uh, tie from Digimon. I <laughs> 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 you know, okay. invited you a potluck. What do you bring? Um, cookies, almonds, sourdough bread. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. a fashion trend you don't get? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Patterns. Patterns in general? Wow. <laughs> oh, that was a truthful answer. What's the worst habit that you'll never break? Watching TV. Picking scabs. Farting on stage. You dirty girl. <laughs> Megan, on your Instagram, Fantastic. deep down in it, is um, a picture of you yelling at Stephen Sondheim. Yes! <laughs> That's one of my favorite photos! We can just keep that here for us. Um, oh, she like, looks, like, looks like a seal. Can you tell the yeah. tale of it from us? Um, okay, so I did the uh, revival Pacific Overtures off Broadway a couple of years ago. They decided to bring it back and update it, and there was no women in the first one. So it was like me and I don't know. Do you know Anne Harada? Mm -hmm. um, Let's dedicate this episode to Anne Harada. This oh, is for you, Anne. She would love that. <laughs> anyway, so we did this like ten-person production of Pacific Overtures, and they were very much involved, which is cool. This is at our opening night party where I decided to make, you know, take, you know, shoot my shot and be like, hey, Steven, I'm just so grateful. And he was just like, what? But what were you it, saying in him I was right just, I literally was just like, hey, thanks so much for, and like, he And he did this? He was like, couldn't hear me. So he was like cupping his oh, ear. Oh, he was trying to hear he better. He was trying to hear. I guess <laughs> I yeah, see. But it was like, I hadn't even finished his sentence before he went, what? <laughs> Um, not that it shows, but compared to most actors in the show, you're relatively green to touring, having gone mm -hmm. from college to Team Star Kid to the YouTube video uploaded that eventually led to you being Regina George. So even though it's something that you love doing, I assume like the thing you love most to do, um, what's it like to immediately have all this 
responsibility and attention and touring in itself like it I mean it's obviously really hard it's hard mm -hmm. to do eight shows a week for a role that is vocally demanding um, but like I've been very blessed and fortunate to come into a company that has lifted everybody up with open arms so I really didn't feel like I was like oh this is I can't do this like I've always felt like I could do it yeah. and um, the creative team has been so wonderful ever since like my first call back with them to getting it so that in itself has been amazing um, you know, when and more people follow you and you have a voice of like things that you're passionate about. But I think it was great. I think it's led me into a good place to start 2020. Definitely. Yeah, it's 2020. It's 2020. Do you, do you have New Year's stuff. resolutions? I feel like as an artist, it's weird because I feel like it, I more have like resolutions like when I start a new job Versus and like we get to year. start new things yeah. kind of when it, one thing ends and then another thing begins or you go into a job and you're like, okay, what is this going to get me? Like, what am I leading into this with? So we do that fairly regularly as performers. So I feel like I did that with the Mean Girls tour. Like I, when I was in rehearsal, I was like, there's no reason to not be just fully excited about everything. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I think it's so easy <clears throat> to be like, yeah, well, it's not that great. Like, let's not get too excited because then like if anything gets let down, like, you know, you can't get too excited about an audition because if you don't get it, then you're super disappointed. Yeah. But like, why not be excited about this like huge adventure I we're love on? Being excited. And so <laughs> I like went into this job with that. So that's like my New Year's resolution, but I started it like when I started this show. Right. All right, we're gonna wrap this up with something we call Pep Aroni Talk. If you could say one thing to your high school self, what would it be? Losing five pounds and getting the boy to like you isn't going to make your life magically beautiful and amazing. Stay weird, girl. Yeah. Um, don't let what other people think stop you from working too hard. Nice. Yeah. So at the end, we're just going to sum up how we feel in one word. Cool. Cheesy. Grateful. Grateful. Cheesy. Garlicky. <laughs> Garlicky. Fantastic. Great. I'm going to eat this crust. OK, please go see my new pals, Mariah, Megan, and John Lynn in Mean Girls right now in Chicago at the Nylander Theater. It's here until January 26th. Luigi might be in the show. Who knows? Luigi's influence. Thank you guys so Cheers. much for having pizza with me. We'll see you guys next time on another Into Deep. Bye. 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 Bye.